channel and it's time to show you what my two new projects are. Uh, someone asked me to do a custom made album and she actually she couldn't choose to the paper so she chose two collections so she asked me if I like to make two albums one portrait style one landscape style and she chose these two and I'm gonna first show you what papers she collect uh, she picked out so yeah let's see what is new okay the first set and they both are from uh, Ciao Bella and um, this calls another Tucson Sun. Absolutely stunning. So I ordered from each two uh, because I don't know how much do I need it. But I assume that I need only one of each. But just in case I ordered double. Okay, so the six by six. I'm just gonna first time that I see it. Back we have nothing. Nice little tags. Nice landscape, flowers, so amazing. Can you imagine making nice tags with these? Cool, love it. I just love it. Oh, breathtaking. How I wish, I wish that lady, I was, that was me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Oh, when I see this, I already, have so much enthusiasm to go on a holiday. Oh, sitting next to the nice flowers. What a nice doing. Oh, love this on the back. I love the easiness on the back. So if you don't like the busyness on the front, you can use the back. So that is so cool. Love this one. Okay, so how many are in here? 24 designs. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I always um, go through the papers and then I decide what to make. That's, that's just a thing of me. But, okay, this one is closed. This one is already open because I had to peek. And I have this for several weeks now, but of course, when I got it, I had to peek. So it's my second time that I go through them. But I love this. Okay, so this is the A4 creative, creative pad. <laughs> okay, so we have nine double-sided papers. That's included, I believe, the front. So cool. So happily engaged in the present moment. Love it. I definitely can't believe why she chose this. Oh, nice quiet on the back. This A4 pack is amazing with all the embellishments, all the little tags. You don't have to make any um, tags of your own if you don't want it. Oh, this is a nice thing. Hmm, okay, my mind is already going everywhere. See, and here you also have a fake bronze closure. That's cool. So you can see, you can all cut these out. So you never have to worry about how to make tags or something like that. I definitely like to want to fold this in half and make a nice little journal out of it. So cool. Oh, you have the clock wiser. And I see right here the clock. That's also amazing. So cool. So you can make the time with a picture right beside there. And the backs are so quiet. Oh, love it. But I think I definitely want to use all the little things. I just love these. Oh, lots of um, closures and, and uh, clocks and keys. So cool. Love it. Okay, so what I was telling, I always like, if I'm going to, going to start a new project, then I always like to watch several times to the papers to let me tell the papers what and what kind of project they want me to make them. And um, as this 
is a custom made album, okay, and it's a portrait style and a landscape style, but I just want to know what kind of pages is these papers good for. Okay, so now we have the 12 by 12 patterns pad, and this one has eight double sided papers. So the back, yes, I know they always print it up. Love it. You can cut out all these letters too. Let's see if I am perfectly in frame. This one needs to be all in frame. Oh, look at this. It's quite busy, but can you imagine you are laying between all these goodies and let all the flowers smell. Mm, delicious. And these little bees. Ah. So cool. Oh, nice. A nice easy back. Love that. Okay, so we have the months. That's also a nice thing to add in a kit, in a piece. But if you don't like to use them, you can use just these single tags. Oh, clocks. Nice clocks with those wet flowers all the way around. This is so feminine. I love it. Oh, this is nice. This is absolutely stunning. Cool. Alright. So nice wet flowers. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, now I understand why they add so much uh, locks and keys. Of course, in that country you have a lot of old buildings with old... Um, Locks and doors and windows, treasures to be found. Love it. it. It looks so real if it's if it's a picture, but it isn't. So nice. Oh, burlap. I do love that. So cool. So cool. All right. So here we have again lots of clocks to use. But if you don't want to, just use a simple bag. And another. Perfect that they use two of these and then the back. Wow, this is almost the same. Just want to check. I just want to check. I always like to check. Okay, so the flowers. Oh no, this is a smaller flower. Ah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. And this is the same, but then with green. So clever. So cool. Alright, so that is the pattern pack. Awesome. I'm gonna pack this later. And then we have another one. And that is the, the paper pack. So you have two different ones. So this is the pattern pad and this is the paper pad. Okay, so let's check that out, the difference. So, the front you can use. Oh, I love this image. It's perfect. I think I will use that at the front. Screaming for the front. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Goody, 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 goody. I love this piece. But I'm definitely going to use that image. Or this one. Of course, it's the same one. Oh, I want to be that lady. Oh, I think this is the same one. I did have this one already, it wasn't it? I always like to check. Check, check, check. I thought we had this one. Well, we definitely... Oh, that's, that's not a different one. Didn't we have this on the A4? I believe we had this on the A4. Well, you know me, I always like to check. Check. I thought I had that image. Oh, it must be quick. I don't know. Anyway, we have the full one, and then the back we have this blue. And then we have this one. This is also nice to cut out for a nice front or a nice full page. And then cut out all these little pieces. Oh, yes. I think the back is the same as the A4 backs. That's cool. Love that. Oh, amazing. 
Oh, I want to start with this. Okay, in this pack you also have some nice big tags. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely stunning. Oh, that is a good thing. Easy bags. So you don't have to glue them down on any paper cardstock if you don't like that. This is just nice. It looks like an image, but I definitely can see that it's painted. I love it. It's so nice. This you also can make as a nice incision and make it as a tuck spot. This goes wild. My mind is going everywhere. It goes and on and on and on. It goes on. So cool. Oh, this is just... Mm, love it. Love, 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 love it. Oh, I think burlap will fit perfectly with this. Because a lot of burlap is also on the back of these pages. Oh, and look at this. Hey. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, this landscape. It's amazing. It's amazing. Nice blue. Green. I love that they use nice light pastel colors for easy. Makes the busy papers easy going. Love it. I absolutely love it. I think I will have enough with um, with um, these are 12 double sided and these were also 12, no 8, these are 8, 8 so that is 20, 20 together and then we have the A4 that's 9 and then we have the 6 by 6 so what do you think? Is that enough to make a nice project with? I definitely think it is. You also can use white cardstock to stretch it out with photo mats because of course this nice lady wants to add her pictures. And I would definitely think that these papers are way too cute to cover up with pictures. So I'm definitely going to use some white. So that is, I definitely have enough for this one. So the next set is um, to my stash. <laughs> But it's always nice to have something insecure. Alright, so let's go to the next collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am starting a new project. And the first thing I did was see what words that I can use with cutting out these papers, these letters. And these words I'm coming up with. So wish, dream, love, memories, family, beautiful and notes. And for the rest I can't figure out any uh, other nice words to use so that is what i'm going to use um doing this project just like to show you real quick which words i came up with i think i love these ones i think these words are very nice to use all right <laughs> let's see what i can use them for okay what am i doing here let me uh, let me explain I am trying to make some tabs that stick out of these pages. So what I do with these words is I'm gonna glue these down on black cardstock. You know I like black. I always think that all papers fit perfectly with black. Really give all paper nice contrast so i just love black so i'm gonna use black okay so what i smooched the edges and i glue these down and then i'm gonna grab my envelope punch from be all memory keepers going down all the blue. Yes. Okay. If there's something coming out that you don't like, smooch that away. Alright, so 
Next thing, I grabbed my envelope punch and the first thing I did, because I definitely want to cut exactly on the spot where I want it, is I made two of these marks. I don't know if you see that. I made those marks. So if you see this, if I punch this down, you see those marks leaves the end of, let me test it out. So if we have another one. So here I have a line and that is exactly, so I just lined this up, the line with this, see, lined it up and then I cut and then I have exactly where I want it. Not too close, not too far. So that is the first thing I did. <laughs> okay, so, um, yep, this way first and then the other one Let's see perfect line up and then I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna cut right in the middle okay so I'm gonna line this up and cut right in the middle I'm gonna cut it off And there you have it, a nice tab. And this one we can put it right here, below, wherever we want it. So what do you think? I think I like it. So if this is our page, then you can add several tabs on the side. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna make a few more of these and then let's get started with the pages. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so these are finished and the glue is gonna leak. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, I can do anything what I like with these, but I definitely like these on the outside. And if we have another um, page, we can add as many as we like, short ones, bigger ones. So yeah, that was the first step that I like to do with this. A collection so I definitely have them I'm not gonna lose them I always like using clips to keep all things together all right so now back to the base page this is gonna be my base page and it's gonna be a large one because I want to make a large album so we can add loads of photos in there yep that was my little ruler and um, so the base page is going to turn out 8 1 fourth, and that's in centimeters 21 and this one then is well let's say 11 but it's a little larger than 11 let's keep it with 11 1 8 that's exactly size so it's large but we want that, don't we? And this one is, well, it's supposed to be a 28, but it's exactly 28.3 centimeters. And these are inches. So this is going to be my base page. Ooh, large. Keep that and noticed because it's going to be the last time you're going to see it now. <laughs> you know me, I always give you measurements. So not afterwards, not in a list, doing the tutorials. That is how I work. I'm not going to write many down. So I, how do I make that base page? So that's actually a tunnel. If you don't saw that already, forgot to show you. This is the tunnel that we're gonna make and yeah we're gonna make the tabs on the sides so or perhaps oh that's also now very nice the big inserts is going in here we're gonna use on the tabs oh that's more nice yeah that's what I'm gonna do cool so these tunnels are big so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my A4 and my A4 is this size 
21 by 29 and a half centimeters or in inches it's 8 one fourth by 11 five of an eight inch i know the a4 uh, size is not worldwide i know uh, out of europe you have another a4 size that's why i gave you just the measurements that mine is mine black paper is also i'm going to use clairefontaine black 160 grams so if you don't have this size then just cut it in the size 8 one fourth by 11 5 of an 8 inch just showing you right again so this is the size that i'm going to use okay if you don't have that then just cut it in the size you like Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, just real simple, I'm going to make a fold line, a hinge of a half inch, oh yeah, it's Monday, <laughs> the first Monday of the year, of the month, the first Monday of the month, there is a sound, just to check out if the sound is working perhaps in an emergency time if you hear that not on a monday at 12 o'clock then you get a hell out of here <laughs> or you just stay inside with all the windows closed closed so that is that sound it wasn't my quiz the other day and for the dutch people it was pretty pretty simple because this noise is now hearing in complete of holland but i noticed um while i'm doing that quiz in other countries you have that too so yeah that is that noise and i'm just going to continuing <laughs> it will stop in just a second that also means it's the first day of the month my baby girl is having her birthday today she's going to turn out 18 so it's not a baby girl anymore but she's still my baby girl always and um so yeah she's turning 18 today Ooh, so cool so darn cool and she got a car and i'm so happy so that means that she is not depending on me anymore <laughs> I don't know if I do like that a lot because yeah, you you just kept being a mom. Even she is 18, you always being a mom and you always like to care of them. So yeah, I don't know if I am happy with that, but now she's having her own car. I don't have to drive her to other places. She can go on her own, but hey, it's not the first time that I did that because I have another child and that he's already I'm uh, going to turn out this year 21, so I'm used to that. But still, a girl is a girl. A boy is different. I don't know. If you have that the same thing, I don't know. A girl is different. My opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was a little information doing that alarm noise. So yeah, this is the tunnel same exactly the same tunnel as this one so this is the size it turns out write it down you can make this with your own papers using 12 by 12 or other a3 papers whatever you're going to use it but this tunnel is turn out these measurements all right cool all right um i don't know how many pages i'm gonna make but definitely more than two so I'm going to make definitely three, perhaps four, but who knows, who knows? <laughs> okay guys, I am just a little playing around and I have something in mind that I like to add in everywhere I like. So um, yeah, let's get started. And I'm not going to tell you what the meaning is. You just going to follow me along. So this is my prototype. And so I have some measurements. Just a few little things. All right, so first of all, I'm just gonna grab my scoreboard right here. 
I'm gonna grab my A4 and you already know what size my A4 is, otherwise scroll back. Alright, so let's grab a bone folder and the first measurement, the first um so yeah, the first oh my goodness, the first to fold, fold line, fold line! <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> stay focused. The first fold line we need to score at four inches. Oops, four inches. Then the four one fourth. So we're gonna make it a nice space. Then the next one is nine three fourth. That's the base. Alright, so score at four, four one fourth, and nine three fourth. Alright, that is the base, the base, the base, the base. The next, yeah, of course, we need to fold down this first. Let me don't rush too quick. You can fold it. The next fold line. You can fold it to burnish it down. And then the last one, it goes to the back. You can cut it shorter, but we can do that anytime. So leave it just for now. All right, so now the first thing we have made is a lid. This is going to be the lid. So it has to be looking like this. So this is the flap with that extra space and this on the back is going to be the hinge where we're going to attach it wherever we want it all right so the next thing we're going to this piece right here so what i'm going to do is i am going to score on the long side and on the short side i'm going to cut this square off you don't need it and then I'm gonna fold it. Um, yep, fold it. And the long side. We fold it. All right. So now we can cut this down. I'm gonna stay. I'm not gonna measure this, guys. You can, but I don't think it's needed. Does it need it? Well, it's not needed, but you can cut it at five. So I'm gonna cut this at five inches. And then we have a long piece. And this one we're gonna measure with our pencil all the way to the top. So it's going to be the same size. Okay. That's it. Okay, now grab your ruler because we're gonna make a nice little edge. So I'm gonna make a mark at two inches. And on this side, we're gonna make a mark at three inches. Okay, and now we're just gonna line this up and score it away. That's it. That's it. I need to replace a new blade because it's a little wonky, but that's no troubles. Okay, I'll leave it for just a second because I need it anyway. Okay, so yeah, this is how it looks like. So we have some space on here and this is going to be a nice big pocket. Now glue it on. Glue it on if my glue is open. Yep, here it is. Okay. Here we go. Put it on. Nice. I'm gonna burn down my glue so it's nice attached. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open so it's easier if you want larger pieces in here, but you can if you like glue this down. But 
I don't like to. I just want to keep this open. Like a nice big pocket. Okay. So that is the base. Now inside here, I want to do something with those uh, month cards. Now you don't have to use the month card. But also you can use the back. But the meaning is that this is the correct size. I think I need to trim these down just a little bit more. But it's supposed to be fitting. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to make four pockets because I want to I want to add three of these in the album where we hide those little month cards in. So that is the meaning that we want to do. Now I measured my measurement already. So I left I want to left uh, uh, one inch open from the top. Then I measured and then I came up with a four and a half centimeter or one three fourth inch uh, pocket. So what I'm going to cut is of course, I'm going to use my leftover pieces. Always use those first. I'm going to cut my paper at, yeah, Four and a half, or four and a half. Well, that's here. Okay, that's one long piece. Let's see if I can make another one with that piece of paper. I think I can line it up correctly. We want to have a straight line. Oh, well, I think it's already. Let me just check it out. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so what else can we do? We are going to make another fold line. What's this? That's, that's, oh yeah, that's the cutoff. We just cut off and still use it, save it. These two I was looking for. Alright, so we are going to make some hinges. We're going to make some pockets. Now I always like to do a few on one piece. But the meaning is we fold it down, grab our base, line this up and stay away from the fold line, ladies. Stay away. Make a mark and then score at that mark. And now I'm gonna make those all four exactly the same. Cut this down if you like. Okay, I'm just gonna line this up. I'm gonna use this piece. Make a mark and score. Cut it shorter. And we do it again. And each time I'm going to use the first one. Because you never know if you are going to miss make it. And the last one. Okay. Now before I am gonna glue these pockets down, I wanna add a nice notch in that in those little pockets. So I'm not gonna use my um, envelope punch with that. And how I do that? Well, that's pretty obvious. No, it's not pretty obvious. <laughs> I did that already. So what I did was I cut a piece of paper. And these pockets are different than those ones. Um, so you line these up. Let me grab the ones that fits on here. So I'm going to cut the same size as this one with a black edge. So this one is a little smaller than my black pocket. Do you see? Now I have a black edge. Then the next thing that I do is put this on the bottom 
like that and then cut in the middle with my envelope punch that is this one this is my envelope punch that makes this notch perfect okay so if you make that equal then you ha only have to do to put this a little down and then you have that black edge see that is how i make my design paper gonna work and i cut three three pieces uh, one and a half inch larger than that because it's going to be inside the other in the other pocket so you have to you can slide this further than that see like this and then the next one and the next one and the next one and the bottom one has to be the same size well with a black edge of course all right so that is what i did okay so that is exactly the same what i'm going to do with these four of course all right so that is that and then we come to that we are going to attach these four pockets so one well let's let's attach that so i'm going to start at the bottom and the bottom needs to be closed of course i'm going to start at the right corner okay There we go. Grab the next one and the next one. Um, let me see. The next do we want this closed? I think we do. Let me check. Oh, just a second. Are these deep enough? I definitely need to trim these down just a bit. I think we are going to close these so they are nice attached on top. I don't know just yet. Let me first add those hinges and then you always can close the bottom. But we just add this with just a little millimeter of this one. So I hope you can see that. See, I leave a millimeter open from the bottom, from the first pocket. Okay, just grab the next one. Also, I leave the bottom open just to check if what to do with, with it. If I want to close it, see again, I leave a little edge open. And then the last one, where is my last one? Here it is. Okay, and then to glue this down. Now this is way lower than I actually was planning, but I think it's even better. Because now my card on the on the top will fit in here way better. But I have to trim these down. I have to trim it down. Just a second. Let's do that. Let's use this. Let's cut the white pieces off. smudge the edges but then used to that to do that right away <laughs> okay so oh yeah this definitely fits way better 
And yes, I think I'm gonna glue all these pockets closed. That's a good thing to do. See, so we still can do this with no problems. Just close those little pockets. papers in here. My son is coming up. Hi! Oh, I thought I'd hear him coming up. Okay, now you can slide these in. Okay. This is just playing around, see how it looks. And glue it down and pull this one for just to show you how this back looks. What do you say? Ooh, and then these are these papers is from the front cover of that six by six paper. And there was also this little piece on, so I cut it out and I thought it would be awesome to put it right here. Finishing touch, what do you think? <laughs> I think too. All right, so now I do need one piece for the back. For the back, but you can use any kind of papers we want. I want another color, another color. And for these small pieces, it's, it's way nice. It is nice to use oh, I love this one. No, it's too busy. Um, so it's a good use for these six by six papers to use such papers for the back for the small pieces. I actually want some wet. It's not something wearish. Oh, this is oh yeah. This Hold on. I just told him. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't scare too much. <laughs> Hate you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. These are way too nice. Nope, 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 nope. This one is nice, actually. I do love that one. Okay, make a decision. I will. Okay, we need to cut this down. And how far do we need this? Oh, till this flower. Okay, cut it down. So I'm going to make one of this item together with you and then the other one. I'm going to do that by myself. Ooh. Wait just a sec. Which one do you like better? This one? Or this one? Hmm. Yeah, I definitely like this one. Choices to be made. And it's hard. It's hard to choose papers that you I just love. But you just have to make a decision. Alright, so now I'm gonna work my way to the bottom. Now if you glue this down, you only have to glue down till here. Leave that half inch open. You can put this. Oh wait. We glue this down, so yes, we can. Oh, no problems, you can just glue it down. Well, sometimes I do leave those pockets, pockets open, 
So then you have to not glue them down at all. So that is different. Now we, I glue down the pockets. Yes, ma'am, you glue that. Oh, this is also a nice one. Oh. Make your mind. So now I can put down all my glue because I closed the pockets. Okay, I love this. It's so cool. It's so cool. And this is also the reason why I made this flap a little thicker so you can add more in it so it's not too thick but you under yeah you did understand that doesn't you yes you did you already thought of that don't have to explain that but all right and then this on the bottom Finishing touch. Here we go. Yes. I like it. That is so cool. All right, so now I have those little tags. And I'm gonna trim these down. And you can use them, yeah, either this way or the general. So I'm not gonna glue these down on any cardstock. I'm just gonna smooch the edges and then they are perfectly done for me so yeah I love these ones so I think what I like to add in here is um, a little photo mat so you can um, put circles on the date on that uh, photo or you can write something down and then you put that picture on the back in, in, the, in the same pocket what do you say I think I like that so but for this, I am going to cut these down and I'm going to add these in here. I'm going to make some little photo mats. And then I'm going to do the rest of the decoration. Yeah, and then I'll come back to you. Oh, we need, yeah, we do make, we do, we do need to make um, a closure. So I'm going to do that too on the design paper and then I'll come back to you. Okay, girls. Okie dokie. Let's see how this turns out when they are finished. Front and back is done. Um, Alright, so you can open this up with the string. And then on the inside, as I promised, the month pieces with a um, photo mat on the back. January, February, March and April, all to the top. And then on the left side we have that big pocket where you can add nice photo mats, nice little booklets where you can add your photos on. So lots of storage place in here. And then of course this closes down again with the string now on the back i just made a simple pocket guys everybody can do that you know in the meantime how to make a nice a nice pocket so that's simple i created two photo mats and just a tag from the paper line in there and that's that now you see this flap already and now we can place this everywhere we want so this is still the base page and I don't know exactly where I want it but it's going to be added somewhere all right but okay I'm gonna make three of these because I want I definitely like three of these um, in here in those um, in this album for um, uh, put the little tags in there from the month I don't know exactly um, yeah I think I'm gonna make three the same ones what do you say I love this very nice and add loads of things in there so yeah that is the first step that I made and um, <laughs> I hope to see you next time bye bye hey guys real quick do you see the Sun oh my gosh so happy that the Sun finally is back um, the second one is ready and I did this off camera but I want to show you real quick what I did so 
open it up of course on this side we have all the um, the calendar tags with a nice photo mat inside so you can put a nice little photo in there um, all the way to the bottom four times then on the back of course loads a nice big pocket photo mats big photo mats and for this one i made a little booklet with some crunchy papers really nice so she can journal in here this goes back in here and still loads of place to put in now i thought of doing something fun so what i did was i looked some uh, leftover pieces that i used first i glued them down only three size so i created a pocket so you still can add a little stuff in here so it's still a nice pocket see i like it all right so then this closes back up and yeah you see this one this little piece on the bottom because i totally forgot uh, to glue this uh, to put this on here but i just managed um, this little piece of that cut apart a4 sheet so i glued it on so that was the only thing that i only forgot but as you can see you always can fix it all right and then the back again a nice big pocket where you can add loads of photos all right so now i have finished two the meaning was three so i need to make one but i think i'm going further to the next one and then i'll come back to you because yeah i do like these and they are still a little different i like that all right so i need to make one more <laughs> okay cool a little update for the pockets is if you want to make your pockets a little deeper than these little pieces then just glue on only on the hinges glue your pocket down as we did before and now the only thing i changed is not glue down the bottom pocket but your design paper is deeper than this groove this this incision right here so if you glue down the bottom then you create a deeper pocket but it's still not going all the way down I have to watch something otherwise i don't see so now where I just put the bottom glue on the design paper is going to be deeper now. So my pocket is actually going till here. See, but it's now going deeper. It's going deeper than the bottom pocket. So I, I created a little more space for these, these tags. So now they can go deeper. Yes, they can. So that is what I changed. So they can deeper so you still see this notch so that is the only thing that i changed that i came up with how to fix that so yeah now you see the notches we did not see that in the first um pocket but now we do oh, real simple but all right so i only have to put the last piece on top let's use this piece and then I'm almost done with these little pockets. And then I can go on creating the other pockets. Yay! So, okay. That's cool. This is December, November. And I need to work with those pockets. I'm going to show you how I do that. You probably know that already. How I make my pockets a little more doable. Because now they are really tight. So what I do is, but you take care that you do this gentle. Keep your fingers on the edge. And just use a soft piece. Now this is nice wound, so I don't of my paper and I'm just going to stretch out 
those edges. Now be careful, your glue has to be dry. Don't say that this will tear your paper because you are holding your fingers on it. Alright, so now these are going way more easy. See? Just needs a little stretch. Okay, cool. And now there, there is more place for adding a nice photo mat on the back. There we go. Nice photo mat on the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so this side is done. And now I'm continuing with the rest. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, that was just an update. <laughs> Okay, for those who like to check out which kind of paper that I used is... Alright, so you open this up and open this up and here we have the four pockets. On the back I left some photo mats. You can always add something more in here. Then a few nice little pockets. Same as the other one because I love it so much. Nice little stuff in here. This you also can put on here, but you can put it everywhere you like. All right, so this is the front. I made a little mistake with the closure, but it's okay. You still can close it nicely. Should have done under, but you always can change it, but I, I leave it for now. Okay, so that's the closure and the back. Again, a pocket. Just a simple pocket and um, um, some photo mats and I added a uh, paper clip on here so you still can add a nice little tag on here. So this fits nicely so you don't see the white. It's nice if you put the photos on the white of course so you don't see the white. But I especially wanted to add photo mats that are replaceable. So that is just what I like. So, okay, so I am done with my three pocket pages. I have left a nice big um, hinge. So if it's needed, I always can add another fold line so it will fold easier. But I will see that when it's done. All right, so yes, I hope you liked it. And yeah. It was a lot of work, but very, very, very nice to do. All right, now it's time to go to the pages. Yes.